The German Aerospace Center German, Deutsches Zentrum für Luft und Raumfahrt e, v, abbreviated DLR, is the national center for aerospace, energy and transportation research of Germany. Its headquarters are located in Cologne and it has multiple other locations throughout Germany. The DLR is engaged in a wide range of research and development projects in national and international partnerships. In addition to conducting its own research projects, DLR also acts as the German Space Agency. As such, it is responsible for planning and implementing the German space program on behalf of the German federal government. As a project management agency, DLR also coordinates and answers the technical and organizational implementation of projects funded by a number of German federal ministries. Overview DLR has approximately 8,000 employees at 20 locations in Germany. Its institutes and facilities are spread over 13 sites, as well as offices in Brussels, Paris and Washington DC. DLR has a budget of about €670 million Euro to cover its own research, development and operations. Approximately one third of this sum comes from competitively allocated third party funds. German, In addition to this, DLR administers around €500 million Euro in German funds for the European Space Agency. In its capacity as project management agency, it manages over €650 million Euro in research on behalf of German federal ministries. DLR is a full member of the Consultative Committee for Space Data Systems CCSDS and a member of the Helmholtz Association of German Research Centers. In the context of DLR's initiatives to promote young research talent, ten DLR school labs were set up in Berlin Adlershof, Braunschweig, Bremen, Cologne Ports, Dortmund, Göttingen, Hamburg Harburg, Lampoldshausen, Stuttgart, Neustrelitz, and Oberpfaffenhofen over the past years. In the DLR school labs, school pupils can become acquainted with the practical aspects of natural and engineering sciences by conducting interesting experiments. The members of the DLR executive board are Pascal Ehrenfreund chair since August 2015, Klaus Hammacher vice chairman since April 2006. Hansjörg Dittus, Executive Board Member for Space Research and Development since October 2011. Rolf Henker, Executive Board Member for Aeronautics since November 2010. Carsten Lemmer, Executive Board Member for Energy and Transport since March 2017. Gerd Gruppi, Executive Board Member for Space Administration since April 2011 on the 18th of June 2015. Pascal Ehrenfreund was named chair of the DLR Executive Board following the departure of Johann Dietrich Warner, appointed Director General of the European Space Agency (ESA). Topic History The modern DLR was created in 1997, but was the culmination of over half a dozen space, aerospace, and research institutes from across the 20th century. The oldest predecessor organization of DLR was established by Ludwig Prandt TL in Göttingen in 1907. This model the such Sandstalt der Motorluftschiff Studiengesellschaft MLSTG German for Institute for Testing of Aerodynamic Models of the Powered Airship Society 
Later became the Aerodynamis Chaversuchsanstalt, Aerodynamics Laboratory, or Aerodynamic Experimental Station. In the 1940s, the DVL, an AVA sister organization, funded Konrad Zuse's work on the Z3 and Z4 computers. Another German aviation technology research facility, the 1935-founded, top-secret Luftfahrtforschungsanstalt at Volkenrode which conducted research—much of it for military aviation to suit the Luftwaffe's needs, in parallel to the then existing forerunners of the DLR of today, would not be discovered by the Allies until after the war's end. In 1947 the Arbeitsgemeinschaft Weltraumfahrt Consortium on Space Flight was formed leading to the Gesellschaft für Weltraumforschung GFW Society for Space Research being formed in 1948, in 1954, the Research Institute of Jet Propulsion Physics (FPS) was established at the Stuttgart Airport. What was later called the DLR was formed in 1969 as the Deutsche Forschungs- und Versuchsanstalt für Luft- und Raumfahrt (DFVLR), German Test and Research Institute for Aviation and Space Flight through the merger of several institutions. These were the Aerodynamische Versuchsanstalt AVA, the Deutsche Versuchsanstalt für Luftfahrt DVL, German Laboratory for Aviation, the Deutsche Forschungsanstalt für Luftfahrt DFL, German Research Institute for Aviation. And in 1972, the Gesellschaft für Weltraumforschung (GFW) Society for Space Research. In 1989, the DFVLR was renamed Deutsche Forschungsanstalt für Luft- und Raumfahrt (DLR), German Research Institute for Aviation and Space Flight. Also in 1989, the Deutsche Agentur für Raumfahrtangelegenheiten (DARA), German Agency for Space Flight Affairs, was created following the merger with the Deutsche Agentur für Raumfahrtangelegenheiten (DARA), German for German Agency for Space Flight Affairs. On the 1st of October 1997, the name was changed to. Deutsches Zentrum für Luft und Raumfahrt, DLR, literally, German Center for Aviation and Space Flight. The shorter translation, German Aerospace Center, is used in English language publications. Other German space organizations include the Institute für Raumfahrtsysteme (IRS), Institute for Space Systems, founded in 1970. This should not be confused with DLR's Institute für Raumfahrtsysteme located in Bremen. Also, significant contributions are made to the European Space Organization. Topic Research DLR's mission comprises the exploration of the Earth and the Solar System, as well as research aimed at protecting the environment and developing environmentally compatible technologies, and at promoting mobility, communication and security. DLR's research portfolio, which covers the four focus areas aeronautics, space, transportation and energy, ranges from basic research to innovative applications. DLR operates large-scale research centers, both for the benefit of its own projects and as a service for its clients and partners from the worlds of business and science. 
The objective of DLR's aeronautics research is to strengthen the competitive advantage of the national and European aeronautical industry and aviation sector, and to meet political and social demands, for instance with regard to climate-friendly aviation. German space research activities range from experiments under conditions of weightlessness to the exploration of other planets and environmental monitoring from space. In addition to these activities, DLR performs tasks of public authority pertaining to the planning and implementation of the German space program, in its capacity as the official space agency of the Federal Republic of Germany. DLR's Project Management Agency German, Projektträger im DLR has also been entrusted with tasks of public authority pertaining to the administration of subsidies. In the field of energy research, DLR is working on highly efficient, low CO2 power generation technologies based on gas turbines and fuel cells, on solar thermal power generation, and on the efficient use of heat, including cogeneration based on fossil and renewable energy sources. The topics covered by DLR's transportation research are maintaining mobility, protecting the environment and saving resources, and improving transportation safety. In addition to the already existing projects Mars Express, Global Navigation Satellite System Galileo, and Shuttle Radar Topography Mission, the Institute of Space Systems German, Institute für Raumfahrtsysteme was founded in Bremen on 26 January 2007. In the future, 80 scientists and engineers will be doing research into topics such as space mission concepts, satellite development and propulsion technology. <laughs> Planetary research Mars <laughs> Express <laughs> 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 The high-resolution stereo camera HRSC is the most important German contribution to the European Space Agency's Mars Express mission. It is the first digital stereo camera that also generates multispectral data and that has a very high-resolution lens. The camera records images of the Martian surface which formed the basis for a large number of scientific studies. With the HRSC, which was developed at the German Aerospace Center's Institute of Planetary Research German, Institute für Planetenforschung, it is possible to analyze details no larger than 10 to 30 meters in three dimensions. Topic: Rosetta and Philly. The comet orbiter Rosetta is controlled from the European Space Operations Center (ESOC) in Darmstadt, Germany. The DLR has provided the structure, thermal subsystem, flywheel, the active descent system procured by DLR but made in Switzerland, ROLIS, downward looking camera, sesame, acoustic sounding and seismic instrument for Philly, the orbiter's landing unit. It has also managed the project and did the level product assurance. The University of Munster built MUPUS it was designed and built in Space Research Center of Polish Academy of Sciences and the Braunschweig University of Technology the ROMAP instrument. The Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research made the payload engineering, eject mechanism, landing gear, anchoring harpoon, central computer, COSAC, APXS and other subsystems.
Topic Dawn The framing cameras, provided by the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research and the DLR, are the main imaging instruments of Dawn, a multi-destination space probe to the protoplanets 4 Vesta and 1 series launched in 2007. The cameras offer resolutions of 17 m, pixel for Vesta and 66 m, pixel for series. Because the framing cameras are vital for both science and navigation, the payload has two identical and physically separate cameras FC1 and FC2 for redundancy, each with its own optics, electronics, and structure. <laughs> Manned spaceflight Topic: Columbus. DLR operates the Columbus Control Center in Oberpfaffenhofen, Germany. It is responsible for the coordination of scientific activities as well as for systems operations and life support on board the orbiting Columbus Laboratory. In February 2008, the Columbus Laboratory, Europe's core contribution to the International Space Station ISS, was brought into space by the Space Shuttle and docked to the ISS. The cylindrical module, which has a diameter of 4.5 meters (14 feet 9 in), contains state-of-the-art scientific equipment. It is planned to enable researchers on Earth to conduct thousands of experiments in biology, materials science, fluid physics and many other fields under conditions of weightlessness in space. <laughs> Spacelab, Shuttle, Mir, Soyuz Germany has near 10 astronauts and participates in ESA manned space programs including flights of German astronauts aboard U.S. space shuttles and Russian spacecraft. Besides missions under ESA and flights on Soyuz and Mir, two space shuttle missions with the European-built Spacelab were fully funded and organizationally and scientifically controlled by Germany like a separate few by ESA and one by Japan with German astronauts on board as hosts and not guests. The first West German mission Deutschland 1, Space Lab D1, DLR1, NASA designation STS61A, took place in 1985. The second similar mission, Deutschland 2, Space Lab D2, DLR2, NASA designation STS-55, was first planned for 1988, but then due to the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster was delayed until 1993 when it became the first German manned space mission after German reunification. Earth-bound research and aeronautics <laughs> Remote sensing of the Earth In remote sensing of the Earth, satellites provide comprehensive and continually updated information on «system Earth». This remote sensing data is used to investigate the Earth's atmosphere, land and ocean surfaces, and ice sheets. Practical applications of this technology include environmental monitoring and disaster relief. Following the Indian Ocean tsunami of 26 December 2004, for instance, up-to-date maps could be compiled very quickly using Earth observation satellites. These maps could then be used for orientation during relief missions. DLR conducts these research activities at the German Remote Sensing Data Center (DFD), German Deutsches Fernerkundungsdatenzentrum, a DLR institute based in Oberpfaffenhofen. 
Nowadays, satellite data is also important for climate research, it is used to measure temperatures, CO2 levels, particulate matter levels, rainforest deforestation and the radiation conditions of the Earth's surface land, oceans, polar ice. The new German Earth Observation Satellite Terrazar X was launched in June 2007. The objective of this five year mission is to provide radar remote sensing data to scientific and commercial users. The satellite's design is based on the technology and expertise developed in the X SAR and SRTM SAR missions. Synthetic aperture radar. The sensor has a number of different modes of operation, with a maximum resolution of 1 m, and is capable of generating elevation profiles. Terrazar X is the first satellite that was jointly paid for by government and industry. DLR contributed about 80% of the total expenses, with the remainder being covered by EADS Astrium. The satellite's core component is a radar sensor operating in the X band and capable of recording the Earth's surface using a range of different modes of operation, capturing an area of 10 to 100 km in size with a resolution of 1 to 16 m. Astronomical surveys The Uppsala DLR Trojan Survey was a search for asteroids near Jupiter in the 1990s, in collaboration with the Swedish Uppsala Astronomical Observatory. When it concluded there was another survey, the UAO DLR Asteroid Survey, this time with a focus on near-Earth asteroids and both surveys discovered numerous objects. topic suborbital spaceplane Studying a suborbital spaceplane, DLR conducted fork prototype for Hermes spaceplane program, participates in non-realized Sanger 2 project and since 2005 work under the concept making fast intercontinental passenger transport possible. The Spaceliner is a reusable vehicle lifting off vertically and landing like a glider. <laughs> Research aircraft DLR operates Europe's largest fleet of research aircraft. The aircraft are used both as research objects and as research tools. DLR's research aircraft provide platforms for all kinds of research missions. Scientists and engineers can use them for practical, application-oriented purposes, Earth observation, atmospheric research or testing new aircraft components. DLR is for instance investigating wing flutter and possible ways of eliminating it, which would also help to reduce aircraft noise. So-called, "...flying simulators", can be used to simulate the flight performance of aircraft that have not been built yet. This method was for instance used to test the Airbus A380 in the early stages of its development. The VFW 614 ATTAS was used to test several systems. The high altitude research aircraft HALO, high altitude and long range research aircraft will be used for atmospheric research and earth observation from 2009. With a cruising altitude of more than 15 km and a range of over 8,000 km, HALO will provide for the first time the capability to gather data on a continental scale, at all latitudes, from the tropics to the poles, and at altitudes as high as the lower stratosphere. 
The Airbus A320-232 Diatra, the latest and largest addition to the fleet, has been in use by the German Aerospace Center since late 2008. Atra Advanced Technology Research Aircraft is a modern and flexible flight test platform which sets a new benchmark for flying test beds in European aerospace research, and not just because of its size. DLR and NASA jointly operate the Flying Infrared Telescope SOFIA Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. A Boeing 747 SP with a modified fuselage enabling it to carry a reflecting telescope developed in Germany is used as an airborne research platform. The aircraft is operated by the Dryden Flight Research Center at Site 9 USAF Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. Observation flights will be flown three or four nights a week, for up to eight hours at a time and at an altitude of 12 to 14 km. SOFIA has been designed to remain operational for a period of 20 years. It is the successor to the Kuiper Airborne Observatory which was deployed from 1974 to 1995. Emissions research DLR conducts research into CO2 and noise emissions caused by air transport. In order to ensure that increasing traffic volumes do not lead to an increase in the noise pollution caused by air transport, DLR is investigating options for noise reduction. The low noise approach and departure procedures research project german lamoptimierte and undabflugverfahren for instance forms part of the national research project quiet traffic german laserwerke the objective of this project is to find flight procedures that can reduce the amount of noise generated during takeoff and landing one approach is to analyze noise propagation at ground level during takeoff using a large number of microphones. Researchers are also trying to reduce the noise at source, focusing for instance on airframe and engine noise. They hope to minimize noise generated in the engines using so called antinoise. The German Aerospace Center's research work on CO2 emissions caused by air transport focuses for instance on model calculations concerning the effects of converting the global aircraft fleet to hydrogen propulsion. The growth rates of aviation are above average. This raises the question if CO2 emission free hydrogen propulsion could perhaps limit the effects of growing air traffic volumes on the environment and the climate. <laughs> <laughs> hydrogen as an energy carrier The hydrosol and HYDROSOL2 is one of the energy research projects in which DLR scientists are engaged. For the first time, scientists have achieved thermal water splitting using solar energy, generating hydrogen and oxygen without CO2 emissions. For this achievement, the DLR team and several other research groups received the Descartes Prize, a research award created by the European Commission. The FP6 Hydrosol 2 pilot reactor around 100 kilowatts for solar thermochemical hydrogen production at the Plataforma Solar de Almeria in Spain started in November 2005 and is in operation since 2008. Topic: <laughs> Traffic congestion. During the 2006 FIFA World Cup Football Championship, DLR implemented the soccer project aimed at preventing traffic congestion. 
In this transportation research project, traffic data was obtained from the air in Berlin, Stuttgart and Cologne and used as input for traffic forecasting. A sensor system combining a conventional and a thermographic camera was used to obtain the data. A zeppelin, an aeroplane and a helicopter served as flying research platforms. An image analysis software package generated aerial photos showing the current traffic parameters as well as traffic forecasts. In this way, traffic control centers could be provided with almost real-time traffic information, and road users could be diverted whenever necessary. Solar tower power plant In 2007, the first commercially operated solar tower power plant, the PS10 Solar Power Tower, was commissioned. It has a capacity of 11 MW and it is located near Sevilla, in San Luca la Mer Spain. DLR is prominently involved in developing the technology for this type of power plant. In solar tower power plants, sun tracking mirrors heliostats redirect the solar radiation onto a central heat exchanger receiver on top of a tower. This generates high temperature process heat, which can then be used in gas or steam turbine power plants to generate electrical power for the public electricity grid. In the future, solar thermal tower plant technology could also be used to generate solar fuels, such as hydrogen, without CO2 emissions. Topic Locations DLR is present in Germany at fourteen locations Augsburg Augsburg University Staatsviertel Center for Lightweight Production Technology Zentrum für Lightbohrproduktionstechnik Berlin Berlin Adlershof Institute of Planetary Research Institute für Planetenforschung Institute of Transport Research Institute of Transport Research Institute of Optical Sensor Systems Institute für Optische Sensorsysteme Applied Remote Sensing Cluster Project Management Agency Information Technology Institute of Space Systems, Department of System Conditioning ABD. System Conditionierung DLR School Lab Located at 2 Berlin Institute of Propulsion Technology, Department of Engine Acoustics ABD. Triebwerks Acoustic Berlin Charlottenburg Berlin Karnitstrasse Berlin Zentrum Project Management Agencies at DLR Simulation and Software Technology Bonn Bonn Oberkassel Space Agency Raumfahrtagentur Project Management for Aerospace Research and Technology Projektträger Luftfahrtforschung und Technology Project Management for DLR Project Traeger im DLR International Office of the Federal Ministry of Education and Research BMBF pursues the goal of expanding the international connections of German universities research institutions and companies Eureka Cost Office EU Office of the BMBF Bad Godesberg Project management for DLR Braunschweig Flight operations Institute of Aerodynamics and Fluid Mechanics Institute of Composite Structures and Adaptive Systems Institute of Flight Control 
Institute of Flight Systems Engineering Institute of Transportation Systems Simulation and Software Engineering German Dutch Wind Tunnels DNW DLR School Labramen Institute of Space Systems Maritime Security Center DLR School Labremerhaven Institute for the Protection of Maritime Infrastructures Göttingen Institute of Aerodynamics and Fluid Mechanics Institute of Aeroelasticity Institute of Drive Systems German Dutch Wind Tunnels DNW DLR School Lab DLR Systems Engineering System House Technic DLR Technology Marketing DLR Central Archive Hanover Institute of Quantum Technology Hamburg Department of Aerospace Psychology besides research also involved in the selection of astronauts and Lufthansa pilots Institute of Aerospace Medicine Research Center for Air Transport Systems DLR School Labcone Executive Board Vorstand Institute of Airport Operations and Air Traffic Institute of Propulsion Technology Institute of Aerospace Medicine Institute of Material Physics in Space Institute of Materials Research Institute of Aerodynamics and Fluid Mechanics, Köln Wind Tunnel Department Institute of Technical Thermodynamics, Solar Research Department Space Flight and Astronaut Training Simulation and Software Engineering Center for Solidification of Supercooled Melts Zeus Zentrum für Ersterung Unterkulte Schmelzen DLR School Lab German Dutch Wind Tunnels DNW Lampoldshausen Institute of Space Propulsion Institute of Technical Physics Neustrelitz Institute of Communications and Navigation, GNSS Validation and Completion Techniques Validierungs und Ergänzungstechniken Institute of Communications and Navigation, Ionospheric Effects and Corrections Remote Sensing Technology Institute, Atmospheric Processes German Remote Sensing Data Center, National Ground Segment Technology Marketing DLR School Laboberpfaffenhofen Applied Remote Sensing Cluster Space Operations and Astronaut Training German Remote Sensing Data Center DFD FLIG HT Operations Institute of Microwaves and Radar Systems Institute für Hochfrequenztechnik und Radarsysteme Institute of Communications and Navigation Institute für Communication und Navigation Institute of Remote Sensing Technology Institute of Atmospheric Physics Institute für Physik der Atmosphere Institute of Robotics and Mechatronics Institute für Robotik und Mechatronik Institute of System Dynamics and Control Institute für System Dynamik und Regelungstechnik German Space Operations Center GSOC DLR School Le Boldenberg Institute of Networked Energy Systems Institute für Vernetzte Energiesysteme Stuttgart Institute of Structures and Design Institute of Vehicle Concepts Institute of Technical Physics 
Institute of Engineering Thermodynamics Institute of Combustion Technology DLR School Labtrauen Institute of Propulsion Technology, Engine, Fire Safety ABD. Triebwerk, Gruppe Brandschutz Weilheim, Oberbayern Topic: Manned spaceflight. Examples of DLR or parent institution manned spaceflight missions. FSLP 1983 with Ulf Merbold using Spaceman on STS-9. D1 1985 with Reinhard Führer and Ernst Messerschmidt with Netherlands Wubbo Ockels on STS-61A. D2 1993, with Hans Schlegel and Ulrich Walter. Mir 92 90 seconds E, with Klaus Dietrich Flade. Euro Mir 94, with Ulf Merbold. Euro Mir 95, with Thomas Reiter. Mir 97, with Reinhold Ewald. XR SRTM 2000 with Gerhard Thieler. Topic: Research aircraft. Examples of research aircraft: Bo 105 for Athens in flight simulator. EC-135 for Flying Helicopter Simulator (FHS), VFW-614 for ATTAS, Boeing 747SP (DLR NASA project for Sofia), Airbus A320-232 (Diatra). Zeppelin NT for traffic analysis Cessna 208B Grand Caravan DFDLR Dassault Falcon 20E DCMET DG 300A LAN 17 Glider Dornier Do 228 to 101 Decode Dornier do 228 to 212 DCFFU Dr 402 hundred Remorka DEDVE Gulfstream G 550 DADLR for Halo LFU 205 DELFU since 1985, Grob Strato 2C DCDLR retired. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Space missions. Examples of DLR or parent institution current and past space missions. Many of these are also joint or international missions. Topic: <inaudible> Current. Tandem X, Terrazar X add-on for digital elevation measurement. Prisma. Satkumo. Terrazar X. Columbus. Automated Transfer Vehicle ATV Bird – Bispectral Infrared Detector Firebird – The Bird successor mission consisting of TEP-1 Technology Experiment Carrier and BIROS – Bispectral Infrared Optical Satellite, formerly Berlin Infrared Optical Satellite GRACE – Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment Sa Lupe Eucropus Euglena and Combined Regenerative Organic Food Production in Space 
DSIS, the DLR Earth Sensing Imaging Spectrometer, a VIS, near hyperspectral imager on the International Space Station developed together with Teledyne Brown Engineering. Topic past Champ, challenging mini satellite payload Azure Aeros Dawn spacecraft, Helios AMPTE Galileo ROSAT Express Equator SMOMS 2 PABRIX ASSYMPHONIEA plus BTV SAT 1 and 2 DFS Copernicus 1, 2, 3 Utilsat 2 F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6 Utilsat W, W2, W3, W4, W1R, HB6, W5, Rosetta. Topic DLR Magazine. DLR Magazine is the Institute's flagship publication, also published in English as of June 2010. Subject matter includes science, editorials and images. See also Open access in Germany List of aerospace flight test centers List of government space agencies <laughs>